2017 PMO Philippine Mathematical Olympiad qualifying level. What is the sum of the last two digits of 403 to the 10 to the 10 plus 6? So we want to solve this, but with two solutions. Solution number one is good for basic level students. And solution number two is good for students that their level is around professional. We can say no something. For example, you should know congruency modulo and also phi of n. And I will also explain. So you can, both of them are useful. But if you don't know anything about math, solution number one is better for you. So let's start. Please consider subscribing, like the video, and turning on notification during the video. Let's jump into the solution. 403, because it says we should find last two digits and then we add them up together because the problem says sum. When the problem says last two digits, so this number 403, only last two digit here is important. 0, 3, which is 3. So I should focus on last two digits of 3 to the 10 to the 10 plus 6, this number. Now, if I want to find this, I should focus on powers of 3, that the last two digits is what? So, for example, 3 squared is 9, 3 to the 4 is 81. So let's write 3 to the 4, last two digits equal to 81. So last two digits, last two digits equal to 81. The next number, 3 to the 8 equal to 81 squared. I want to find last two digits of this number. Let me teach you a trick. You don't need to calculate it completely. You say 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 8, 8. 8 times 1, 8. And then it will be 1. And 8 plus 8, 16, which is 6. So it will be 61. We don't need to calculate the rest because we want to focus only on last two digits. In next step, I will calculate 3 to the 16. By power rule, I can say it is 3 to the 8 squared because a to the m to the n equal to a to the m n. So if I want to calculate the 3 to the 8 last two digits, so 3 to the 8 was this 3 to the 8 squared will be 61 squared. If I want to calculate 61 squared like previous one, 6 times 1 times this, 6 times 6, it will be 1, 2. So it will be 20. One. <clears throat> okay, so let's calculate 3 to the 32. Similarly, we can say 3 to 16 squared. 3 to 16 equal to 21 squared. 21 squared is 4, 4, 1. So we can say it's 41. Now I want to calculate 3 to the 40. And maybe you ask, okay, how I understood why we should calculate 3 to the 40. If you see second solution and I told you, tell you, Euler's totient function, you will understand 40 is totient function of or phi of 100 uh, in that case. But here, if you don't know those things and you want only a basic level solution, I will tell you 40 is good and we should calculate it. By power rule, we know a to the m times a to the n equal to a to the m plus n. We know 32, so 3 to the 32 times 3 to the 8 from this part and this part 3 to the 32 is 41 times 3 to the 8 equal to the last two digits 61. If we calculate this 41 times 61, 1, 1, 6, 4, 4, it will be 4, 1, 0. So last two digits is 0, 1, which we can say 1. Now we understand if we raise 3 to the power of 40, the last two digits will be 1. Now here, if I consider this number, we can say by power rule, it is when we have plus, it will be product between the numbers, times 3 to the 6. And 10 to the 10 is what number is 3 to the 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, times 3 to the 6. And I can say it is 3 to the 40 times... We can say 220 and we can say 2, 
five for until here and seven zero. Let me write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times three to the six. Now we know three to the forty is one. So here is zero one, so only three to the six is important. Three to the six is seven two nine. So the last two digits will be twenty nine. And sum is 2 plus 9 equal to 11. So the answer is C. Here, I've not used anything like modula, Euler's totient function. I only solve this with the ways only with product anything that the students that doesn't know, student that doesn't know anything can understand this. Now, let's focus on the second solution that is so much better, but you should know something before that in solution number two i want to focus on this number because it says last two digits so i should consider this number mod 100 let me write it here 100 i know only last two digits is important 3 to the 10 to the 10 plus 6. now i want to use other totient function which is what Phi of 100, phi of 100, the formula is this. You write that number n, and then the prime factors of 100 is what? 100 is 2 squared times 5 squared. So you write 1 minus 1 half, because 2 is 1 factor, prime factor. 1 minus 1 over 5, and it's phi of 100. And definition is what? Phi of 100 is the numbers from 1 to 100 that are relatively prime with 100. Like 1, 2 is bad because 2 and 100 are not relatively prime. 3 is good, 4 is bad, 5 is bad, 6 is bad because they have GCD not equal to 1. 7 is good. The next one that is good is 9. The next one is good 11. Next one 13. And so on. If you count all of them, it will be exactly this. The formula is this. It helps you not to count all of them. So... 100 times 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. 1 minus 1 over 5 is 4 over 5. 5 times 2, 10, it will be 40. And 40 in solution number 1 I've used was for this. Now, we have an important formula because 3 and 100, their GCD is 1. I can say 3 to the power of 5 of 100 is congruent to 1 mod 100. And it will be so much useful. So 3 to the 40 is 1 mod 100. Now, I want to calculate 3 to the power of what? Here, 3 to the power of 10 to the 10 plus. So if I calculate that, I should understand 10 this power, because I know each 43, when I multiply, it will be 1. So I should find the remainder of this number when divided by 40. So I focus on 10 to the 10 plus 6 mod 40. I should calculate this. So 10 to the 10 is 10 times 10 times 10. Many number. It's 1,000 times 10 to the 7 plus 6. 1,000 is multiple of 40. So I can say this is equal to 6 mod 40. So I can say 3. Let me write 3 to the 10 to the 10 plus 6 is 3 to the 40 Q plus 6. And it is equal to 3 to the 40 the Q times 3 to the 6. If we consider this number mod 100, it is 1 times 3 to the 6, which is 7 to 9. And 7 to 9 mod 100 equal to 2 9. And it was this, and sum of last two digits will be 2 plus 9, which is 11. In this solution, I've used Euler's Torsion function and also modulo. If you've learned something new, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. And let me write some homework for you, one homework for you. The homework is this. Find last two digits of 7 to the 7, to the 7, to the 7. Last two digits is what? It's a good problem. And useful in AMC, BMI, so similar 
problems try to calculate this and you can use my other playlists to improve your problem solving and there are some like torch and function some useful ideas like lte lifting the exponent sfft many ideas that are useful and you should know if you want to learn them feel free to send message to my whatsapp number in the description and comments thank you for watching this video bye